fuck! There's loads of them! There's loads of them! Oh. Okay, welcome back to part 7 of the Silent Hill 3 playthrough. Here we go. We are in Silent Hill, I believe, or we are heading to Silent Hill now. And this guy's our lift. Oh, we've got a map of Silent Hill already, that's handy. So Vincent has told us to go and meet a guy called Leonard in Silent Hill. Okay, so we're in a, we're in a motel room. We've got another save point. I'm going to save it because that cutscene was long. We also got given a, a book from my dad. Let's have a look. So the book was a rundown of what happened in the events after Silent Hill 1 involving the baby that they got and what ended up happening. It's a lot to go through. If you don't know the story, then look it up. It's really interesting. But too much to go through in one of these playthroughs. So the detective guy has gone to go and find Leonard. And we've been told we should go to the hospital. Brilliant. It's very, very foggy. Much foggy than the previous games. Park is shut off, which is good. I hate the park section for some reason. The radio is starting to tingle. Oh, doggy boy. Pete's Bowlerama is this way. We've been in there before. Check out that fog. Oh, I can hear a couple of spiky boys as well. Can't see anything. It's insane. Oh. There's a bit of a camera change here. Let's have a look. The door we can go in. Heaven's Night. We've been in here before as well. Little Silent Hill pamphlet. Advertising Silent Hill. Sounds much nicer than it actually is. There's a flyer from a club. It shows a woman with long black hair. Lady Maria, it says on there. So maybe Maria from the last game was indeed a dancer at this place. That was it in there. Okay, so on to the hospital. You know, I've played this game a fair bit now. I would rate this the least memorable of the three that I've played so far. Like, the game's good, it's fine. I just don't think it's anywhere near as good as the first or second games. And here we are at the hospital. Shit, we've been thrown right in. Yes. What is it? It's a nurse, it's a nurse. We'll go in here. <laughs> the nurses seem a bit creepier. The way they move is a bit twisted. We've got a map to start us off. Excellent. Another save point. I don't think we really need that one. So, I guess we just start going around all these rooms then. Let's see what we can get into. Nurse! Ah! Locked. This one's open, okay. So we have made our way into the visiting room. What's in here? There's a doll. Looks like a little Barbie doll and a notebook. This day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today, but now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Who's Stanley? Disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Whoa! The nurses are a bit quicker. I thought I had a bit more time then. Doctor's lounge is open. Oh, gosh, you nearly hit me again there. Medical record for Leonard. Audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. Becomes very violent. The other one's for Stanley. Let's check out Stanley. This is the guy who wrote that sick diary. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Acts on obsessive attachment to particular woman. Violent incidents. So we've got a couple of uh, a couple of guys. One of them we're here to meet. Stanley we want to try and avoid. But Leonard we actually need to find. They're so quick, these nurses. Oh, there's a couple of them about. We can't go up the stairs. Right, we're going onto the wing now, I believe. Oh my god, they take a lot of bullets. It's a bit worrying. I think she took maybe six or seven bullets. We're going to try not to bother killing them if we can. Take too many bullets. Okay, we're into one of the patient's rooms. Ah, ah, fuck! There's loads of them! Loads of them! Oh, I've been knocked out. I've been knocked out. Get up, I can see an ample. That's it. That's it. Oh my god, these are absolutely destroying me. Just get out of this room. Get out of this room. C4's open as well. Another room. Oh, oh there's another doll. This must have been Stanley's room. Oh, something's happened here. I looked at this stuff on the wall. There's a key on there. A key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. Can't even pull it off. So we're going to need something to get that off the wall. Oh, so he knows I didn't take the doll. He's looking at me. That's worrying. We need to use the elevator to go up to floor two now. It's a lot quieter on this floor, which is nice. Oh, what's that there? Another note from Stanley. You may not yet have realised your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Okay, so Stan has given me a clue there that um, the doctor's left a code somewhere. The first is larger than the second, the second twice the third, the third smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated, three are not in the top row, two are not in the right row, 
one of the numbers is the final key. That's a bit of a mission to remember. I'm going to write that down. Something I can actually put in the notes for what we found here. Nail polish remover and perfume. I reckon they're going to have something to do with removing that key off the wall. Oh, this is the code. Oh, here we go. So this is where we put it in. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. So eight, I think, is the first one. The fourth is half the first. The last number will be four. The second is twice the third. The second one is six. The third one is smaller than the fourth one. The fourth one we know is four. And it's twice this one. So three. And the last one was four. They're not repeated. Three of them aren't in the top row. Only one of them is. Two are not in the right row. Yeah, eight and four. It took a little bit longer than I was uh, <laughs> hoping, but I did it, I did it. I felt quite good actually getting that. I quite enjoyed that. That's the first puzzle that we've had to really work out. So I'm gonna kill this now because she's pissing me off. Ah, she got me. See how many bullets he's taken, it's insane. She's got a gun! She's got a fucking gun! Right, I'm not having that. She's getting samurai sorted. Samurai sword, bitch! Come on! Wow, they're so hard to kill. So hard to kill. Unbelievable. Can I take her ammo then, or what? She fucking shot me like four times. Examining room is open. We can get into the examining room. I wasn't expecting that. Oh no, there's a body. There's a body. Tattoo on its foot. Margaret, let's swear our love until death do us part. Say, the start time is my key. The start time is my key. The start time. Is this another puzzle? I've written it down just in case. There's a medical record here. Could it be for this dead guy? Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4. Okay, so we're going to need to go to room M4 then. And the start time is going to be something to do with that. We're still going to check out all the other rooms anyway. So M1 is locked. M4 is the one we really want. It looks like M4 is going to be open. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's another little note here from Stanley. There was a tattoo guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Oh, the alarm clock. The alarm clock I need to know about. Because that's the start time, right? Don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though. He was a liar. Okay, this Stanley guy. I really don't want to bump into him. Right, okay. The alarm clock. The alarm clock was going off. So, what does that say on there? Five past nine? Turn off the alarm. Uh, yeah, okay. 9.05, right? 0905. Let's check this briefcase, which I'm assuming is going to be what I have to open. 0905. Easy. Easy peasy. Much easier than the last one. Instant camera, okay. All right, let's carry on down this wing then. M5 is open. Fuck! Nurses, 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 nurses. Loads of them. I was the first take kit. These feel like a trap, because like, by the time you've got the first aid kit or the ample, they just fuck you. Okay, so we're going to go back down to the first floor to try and get that key off the wall with the perfume and the nail polish remover. Oh, I can, equi I can equip the perfume. Can I use it? I can't use it. What's the other thing? Nail polish. I can use that. Okay, the nail polish remover on this. Yes, and we've got the stairwell key. So we can now get to the stairwell here. That door's locked, so we should be able to get down now. Just in here, yep, and go in here. Right, let's check out the basement. The basement's only small. Submachine gun bullets. Submachine gun should be on the way. It's the wheelchair that's moving. Uh oh, hope that wasn't Stanley. Suspicious space between the shelf and the wall. Streaks of blood as if something got dragged are continued on the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. I'll take a photo of what's behind it. Fucking hell, I can! I really didn't expect that to work. 6857. It's a code of some kind. 6857. Is that a fucking... That's a machine gun on the floor right there. Hey! Easy game. Right, I can't fit in here either. Can I take another picture here? Oh, the camera's gone. I only had one photo. That's rubbish. Third floor, I guess. First door we're trying upstairs is open. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards the patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. The trick is not to leave any marks. Okay, so it seems that the um, the staff here weren't particularly nice people. Oh, unlocked. Ah! <laughs> Fucking nurse! That was, that was another little trap, courtesy of the game. There's nothing else in here apart from the fucking nurse. Oh, it's another Stanley note. 
just more creepy shit from Stanley, really nothing exciting. A couple of health drinks and a stun gun battery, that's good, it's always good. Okay, so now we've got to go onto the wing. The wing is where all the shit happens. And there's a lot of rooms on this wing. Oh, there's a code. Oh, we've got the code though, right? Six, eight, five, seven. Easy peasy. How many times are we going to get jumped by three nurses? Right, room one. Nice, that's okay. Just some health drinks. Oh, okay, we've got another Stanley note. Oh, the doll's been broken apart. Oh, goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. Stanley and Leonard don't get on, apparently. Room 12, okay, we're in room 12. Oh, the phone's ringing. Who's going to be on the end of this phone call? Ah, oh, it's Leonard. We need to find Leonard. Oh, shit. It's all going wrong now. Claudia is your daughter? Floor. Okay, we need to go back to the I second think, floor. I can be of help to you. He's got something for us. A seal that he's going to give us. I think he wants to help us, but I don't trust him. Alright, so we need to go to the second floor to find Leonard. Which is the objective of this. Loads of nurses. Oh, oh shit, I've been shot. I don't fucking believe this. Can everyone stop getting shot? Well, I'm going to check out the rooftop before I go to find Leonard because I've got a feeling that's going to be the end of this uh, part of the game. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just these guys. These are fine. Submachine gun bullets. Is that more submachine gun bullets? Mm -hmm. Yes. Submachine gun bullets. Lovely. Yeah, these guys are really slow. I've got no worries about these. That's it. That's it. Right, okay, second floor. And we need to go to the end of this corridor, he said. This wasn't here before. Yeah, we don't have a map now. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I'm being sort of guided by closing doors, closing and opening doors. This feels a bit like uh, Poppy's Playtime, the first one, when you're going through the vents. I wonder if that's where they got the idea. Okay, a lot of closing doors here. Oh, a save point. This one doesn't make my head hurt, it's not a save point. Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse. Just barely breathing. What is this? Why? What is keeping that child alive? That was Lisa from the first game. I feel like we've gone over to the nightmare zone. This would be a really good place to save it if there was a save point. Oh my god, look at this. All the, look at all this creepy shit. Yeah, uh, look at that. Oh no! Oh, this is horrible! It's all blurry, it's like I'm asleep. You know when you wake up in the middle of the night, try and keep your tiredness by not opening your eyes properly. Oh, there's a save point here. What's that as well? Handgun bullets, handgun bullets, and a creepy hand. But there's a save point, that'd be a perfect place to end this one. This one's a bit longer, I think. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.